What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching and not starting properly issue you're currently having with Days Gone. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, it would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar, you're gonna click the task manager and simply navigate to the top left corner where you're gonna hit the processes. Ensure that you're sticking around it and afterwards just simply hit one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And afterwards, just hit D in order to find um, days gone. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, I want you to end the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam or your days gone shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner where you're going to click under the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag, drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take the shortcut, you're going to right click and go to the very bottom where it says properties, hit compatibility and simply copy my settings. So enable run this program compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable it, disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbols popping up on your shortcut. And what I want you to do next is going to be just simply double click your shortcut in order to start your game or launch your launcher and launch your game over the launcher. This should fix your issue. Yeah guys, that should this it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.